Elena Leonova and Andrei Kavalko are both from Moscow and both are training now in Oakland, California. She's 25. He is 31. They uh, live in Green Valley, California and spend their summer in Sun Valley, Idaho, performing in shows and doing some teaching. They also come from a fine school of pair skating with Alexander Zaitsev. Now they're working with him in Blue Jay, California, Lake Arrowhead. Beautiful split triple twist. And you can tell as you watch them move how strong they are together as well as apart. And their side-by-side -side elements, double axles. They are tie-dyed. <laughs> Magnificent throw double axle. She gets great height, nice control in the air, too. And if you think you recognize the music and you're a Yanni fan, it's from the album The Best of Yanni, Marching Season. And again, you see the flexibility of Elena Leonova. very innovative. They include adagio style lifts as well as pair skating movements. They seem to incorporate both in their skating. So it's not all about the hard hitting elements. It's combining it all so it looks as artistic as this. Music of course uh, such a big part of these presentations and I mentioned this particular tune by Yanni. Do you like it? I like the piece, but I don't feel it suits them on the ice. I think they're so strong, and they could use a stronger piece of music to skate to. I think that's what makes Kazakova Dmitriev come out as so hard-hitting and over the top. But they have the moves. This is called the banana lift. It's a beautiful shape. He keeps the flow over the ice. Interesting exits. All of that makes for a great piece of choreography but I really don't think this piece is strong enough for them. Judy, for casual observers, what's the difference between the first team we saw, the Olympic champions, and, and this team? Why, why are the Olympic champions better than this particular team? Well, for one thing, they have the Olympic medal with them, <laughs> always. You always know you're Olympic champion and that gives you a tremendous sense of confidence. This team is relatively unknown. They always go out there and skate. I work with them all summer in Sun Valley. I've watched them develop as a team in the pieces that they do and the relationship they have on the ice. They just need to become known and show different pieces of work out there all the time. Not do the same stuff, not do the same mm -hmm. tricks. So they're about at the same talent level, but as you say, it's a matter of confidence and perhaps just developing That's their right. routine. That's right. That's right. You can tell they have the skills. Great positions on this pair combination spin. And they're innovative. Look at her foot come around his leg here. It's a really nice shape. Very creative. They need time. They need exposure. And how good do you think they can be? I think they're great. I think they have uh, great, a lot of greatness in them. And I think uh, I look for <laughs> incredible things for them in the future. Elena Leonova and Andre Cavalco. They move well together. And boy, are they strong. Watch him lift her. 
He gets her up there. She has the flexibility and agility to twist her whole body around, put her hand on her knee. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks like he's holding a piece of paper up there. Yeah. No effort. These men are very strong. What kind of weight training do they do? Do you know, since you spend so much time with them? He lifts her. Always. But they don't a lot. They, they must spend time lifting free weights in weight rooms, he, don't they? He does not. Does, He's he? naturally very, very strong, and they do a lot of off ice training uh -huh. with one another. Really? No, no Nautilus? No. no. Interesting. <laughs> he might have done it in the past, but as far as I know, and I saw them in Sun Valley, he lifts her. And the marks upcoming. The marks for skating techniques, 6.0. Oh, wow. I don't think they can believe it. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, you're not alone in thinking they're terrific. I don't know if it's a 6.0, but gosh, they'll take it. Very strong marks. It's just a matter of time. The judges need to see them more because the audiences love them. And so a well-deserved round of applause for them.